Howdy, 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 my beautiful Virgo. How you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Virgo, for the August, for the August, for the month of August here, all right? We're going to be getting into three rows for you today, uh, Virgo, your first row. We're going to be talking about the person that's on your mind today. Could be romantic, could, could be platonic, darling, could be someone in your family, could be business related. All I know, Virgo, is not my business to know what type of relationship it is. I'm just a messenger, honey, all right? And then in your second row today, Virgo, we're going to be talking about messages you need to hear today. This could serve as a uh, affirming message for some of you guys here or it could just be serving as some guidance all right and then in your third row virgo we're going to be talking about some predictions for you the future is never solid darling but if you continue down the path that you have been going i can get a pretty good idea of what's going to be happening for you i can make some pretty solid predictions for you today all right virgo so with all that being said give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy this tarot reading it helps me out a lot and completely free let me know in the comments below how this helps you out all right let's get into this reading here all right, y'all have the devil card as the major arcana for this week. This is going to be influencing all three of your rows here today, Virgo. All right, the devil card coming in here. All right, the first thing that comes to mind in a social way, Virgo, is like, don't be surprised if someone shows their true colors. All right, in a social way, I see this as someone's just like revealing themselves here, Virgo about how they really are pay attention to how people speak to you all right virgo what i even want to be suggesting to some of you is like especially if this is like family related or maybe like friends all right say just open up to certain people about something in specific it could be a lie virgo or it could be something truthful but only tell them about it don't allow anyone else to know virgo because i get like the sense here where it's like someone has been like either sharing your secrets someone has either been gossiping or what have you all right and a more work and more so affiliated with like your personal projects in the physical world here virgo i feel like you guys are waking up to the habits that you need to be working on in yourself virgo to further progress yourself i feel like this is going to be a week of where y'all are going to be having like a big aha moment about being like oh this is what i need to do this is what i need to work on right it's almost as if for some of you virgos it's like you're you finally have realized like what you need to sink more energy into to have some type of profit and i kind of see like the reason why what's been holding many of you guys back virgo is that maybe it's like imposter syndrome or like an insecurity or maybe for some of you virgos it's just like you know you haven't been having a routine for a while here but i see a lot of progression through acknowledging you know just being honest with yourself virgo about that devil like i really see big changes for you guys for the better so let's get into this here virgo let's talk about the person that's on your mind right now because this is looking pretty interesting here honey all right we have the death card coming in here the ace of wands as well as the chariot card stepping forward to you here uh virgo all right what i want to be telling you right now is the person that's on your mind right now they may not be showing it here but it's like they desperately want to be communicating with you here virgo all right this is like somebody where it's like you guys are definitely not talking right now or if you are it's nothing substantial all right um what i get with this connection here it's like this person really has a strong desire in reaching out and connecting with you here but they don't want to admit it and i feel like as time continues progressing when it comes to this person here virgo it's like the urge to talk to you is going to become too great for them that they end up reaching out to you virgo all right so if you've been thinking about like sending this person another message or if you've been like in your head and being like does this person even care about me or anything like that virgo um what i want to just be letting y'all know is just like yeah, absolutely this person cares and sooner than what you're expecting this person's going to be reaching out to you because it's like the feelings are just a little bit too much for them virgo they're just like hey like i gotta see what virgo is up to even i wouldn't even be surprised virgo if you start noticing them like viewing your story really quickly like on instagram or something like that uh virgo like i get this sense of where it's just like you get kind of like a, a little ego stroke uh, ego boost here virgo this week because it's just like you realize just like how like irresistible you are and you're just like yeah i knew you couldn't figure it about me all right so especially because we have the queen of swords here in the back of the deck um virgo right and so what i feel like when it comes to this connection here Virgo, I kind of get this sense that you kind of put a stand when it comes to this connection here, and that's why there's been silence. Um, stand strong in that Queen of Swords energy, especially if this hasn't happened yet. And when it comes to the person on your mind, maybe that Queen of Swords energy is more related to like you're aware about the, this devil energy, right? You're aware about it, and you kind of been just in your head being, being like, should I confront this person about this problem here, or should I hold back? I feel like you should confront the situation here, Virgo, straight up. 
with that devil card, you should definitely confront the situation. They may not react positively initially, but you know, who really reacts beautifully to confrontation sometimes, right? Because I feel like you'll hit insecurity there. But at the end of the day, they will come back. All right. So don't be worried about calling this person out. You need to speak your truth if you haven't already. Let's clarify this here, Virgo. High Priestess card coming in, Magician card coming in, Seven of Cups, even in the back of the deck here, the World card coming in here. All right. How I see this connection going down, Virgo, is this sense of where... Again, high priestess energy. I get like really this sense, Virgo, where it's just like as you continue living on in your own life, the best thing that you can do when it comes to what I, I mean, I don't know really what the outcome that you're wanting when it comes to this connection here, Virgo, but I feel like the best thing, course of action for you is just like allow, have this person realize that you don't need them. Because you don't, Virgo. You don't need them. You need to listen to your intuition about this. You can't be doing, like, you can't be keeping silent about the things that you just know about any longer here. All right? You need to call them out on it because I feel like for many of you, when it comes to this connection here, maybe they have been too stubborn to want to admit where it is that they need to improve on it. But I feel like, Virgo, you need to give this person a wake up call and realizing that you're not choosing to connect with them because you need them. You're choosing to connect with them because you want something with them, uh, ideally, but also you're not afraid of just pulling out when it's just not serving you anymore, right? Because that's what I see happening here, Virgo. The more that you continue reaching out to this person and giving them 20 different chances, I feel like in their head they're just like so delusional virgo and thinking it's just like oh yeah i have virgo wrapped around my finger like i'm doing virgo a favor by talking to them when in actuality here virgo about you putting a stand and be like actually respect me or don't text me right if you know show me commitment or don't bother talking to me right and y'all actually taking a stand with that and honoring that energy keeping that energy true virgo that's how you get them under their skin that's how you're going to cause any type of change because otherwise this person is just going to continue back in their same habits here so if you haven't confronted this person yet about their devil virgo call them out it may not be pleasant initially but it's going to get the job done all right it's going to cause some type of change for the better all right so let me take a little time stamp here virgo and let's get into what you need to hear today virgo which y'all honey y'all got the queen and six of pentacles here with the eight of swords all right what y'all need to hear today is y'all need to hear about how valuable you personally are here virgo all right you're worthy of so much more when it comes to what it is that you do all right i get for some of you virgos it's like i kind of sit here and wondering she's like why are you get putting giving your all to this job here and i'm not going to be the tarot reader virgo that tells you that you need to just you know think about a self a way to like start your own business and da 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 right well that's great and fabulous but in this economy honey like you're just some of us are just lucky to have a job okay and what I see with this, though, Virgo, it's like, don't settle for breadcrumbs anymore. All right. Don't settle for breadcrumbs. What y'all need to hear at this time is just like, because of just like, I feel like some of you guys are disillusioned to how valuable you are, because it's like you will work like a job for like minimum wage and give your all to a situation. And it's almost as if because of that, you've convinced yourself that you're only worthy of minimum wage when in reality, you're worthy of like double that triple that even uh virgo i for some reason i wanted to call you scorpio i have not even done scorpio's reading virgo so maybe scorpio has some type of relevance and i also take note to virgo i have no problems just saying so like honey I, sometimes i just misspeak but i really got this urge to say scorpio so i don't know if this is something like a scorpio that you're dealing with or something like that but we'll just leave it like that here but Virgo, what I see really happening for you guys here is just like by finally accepting that you're worthy of so much more, it's not the it's not the sense of like you guys making an immediate transition, being like, all right, like screw this job, I'm gonna da 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 make all these changes overnight. It's the initial what I want you to make this week a priority of Virgo is just like having it in your brain and remembering that it's just like you're worthy of so much, all right realizing that and once you start telling like once you start telling yourself and actually believing it virgo once you actually are able to see how valuable you are what it is that you bring to the table when it comes to connections here by finally realizing that it's almost as if it shifts something in the world around you and like the opportunities the people that come forward to you are going to be a lot more profitable by just having the awareness virgo of realizing that you're working too hard for what little you're being paid 
um, that's when the opportunities are going to start manifesting in your life. Not today, not tomorrow, not even next week, probably Virgo, right? Let's just be real. But it's having that initial awareness that then allows your spiritual team to start uh, going to work behind the scenes to manifest something that's a lot more deserving of you, Virgo, right? Because your spiritual team, like darling, let's be real here, Virgo. You can ask day and night. You, I don't care what type of law of attraction, law of assumption, whatever the kids are doing nowadays here, Virgo, right? I don't care what it is that you do, honey, right? But until you actually believe in that you're deserving of something greater, that you're deserving of a more loving relationship, that you're deserving of relationships that give that equal give and take, that actually communicate with you when you want to be communicated with, like spirit can't manifest for you anything better because you're not going to feel like you're deserving of anything better. So even if they manifest uh, something perfect for you, right? Some of you guys are just like, I want a soulmate, I want a twin flame, but then you're not actually ready for love because you're insecure about yourself devil energy right and you're just like oh i'm not worthy of it so then it's just like that soulmate just is like walking on by you know so it's like it's that initial awareness and accepting virgo realizing it's like wait a minute like i i deserve better that's gonna be what causes the change here all right even so three page as well as five of wands coming in here the obstacles that's what the blockage is for you virgo all right it's that sense of where it's like for some of you Virgos, I get the sense of where you've been kind of denying yourself this truth for a while now. Like, I don't feel like I'm telling you anything that you don't already subconsciously know, right? I don't feel like I'm going to be really giving you that light bulb moment, Virgo, Virgo, where you're just like, wait a minute, I do deserve better because you already do. Like on some level, you already do. But perhaps maybe for some of y'all, you've just been waiting for permission, even though you don't need permission, but are like maybe waiting for some type of outside confirmation of realizing like, wait a minute, I do deserve better. And sometimes it's just nice to hear Virgo from, from someone that's it's not you and someone that you know that's biased to tell you it's like you deserve better virgo and trust and believe if i didn't think you deserve better i wouldn't say it i gain nothing from you know saying any of that virgo right so it's like that's the key that's where all the complications come in you know five of wands this is inverted for you i never like to let people know what's inverted and what's not because i mean darling you're gonna see the artwork of the card you don't need to see it upside down to understand the message right and so that five of wands it is my least favorite card in the tarot deck but i like it in this dynamic here because with it being inverted it's like the obstacles by having that awareness of the obstacle like that's when you're able to finally open doors for yourself page of wands three of wands energy and finally taking action on it as well because this three of wands energy is like you've known it for some time like i feel like you receive the paychecks and you're just like okay like you're giving me this so much and i've been working how many other people's jobs you know we've been understaffed for how long and you're just you're not even going to give me a bonus you're going to give me 25 cents raise that's an insult right even when you're messaging them, texting them, Virgo, you're just like, okay, like, you're not going to give any more to this. You're not going to try harder, right? But I feel like you guys, again, have just been a little bit too passive about it. And yeah, I feel like I kind of said my piece on it. I feel like y'all kind of get it at this point in time. Just start believing in it, uh, Virgo. Stop doubting yourself. Stop viewing yourself as this devil. Stop criminalizing yourself. Realize that it's okay to be like, this isn't enough. I need more, all right? So that's what I see with y'all for that one, Virgo. All right. So now let's get into your predictions for this week. All right, darling. You have the eight of cups, page of swords here, as well as the 10 of wands. It's so interesting to me, Virgo. I feel like you guys are going to be walking away from people. All right. You're walking away from the baggage, but at the same time, people are going to be running towards you virgo and be like oh don't leave right virgo i get like this sense of where it's just like that you finally saying she's like you know what i don't want to try with this family anymore this family you're y'all are all crazy like i've had i've had enough and by you walking away virgo searching for something greater i do get the sneaking suspicion that there's gonna be a couple of people that chase after you virgo wanting to fix things wanting to maintain that relationship what you do with those connections that's your business darling right i'm not here to tell you how to live your life you you know these people better than I ever would. All right. Knight of Pentacles energy coming in here as well. And then let's get this world card coming in here. Yeah, like I do see slower going. It's a little bit slower than what you, either of us would probably would want when it comes to certain people. But I feel like certain people, uh, Virgo, wake up and realize like that you were right here. So 
what I really get with you, Virgo, this is going to be a time of where it's just like by you finally putting your foot down and be like, I deserve better. That is going to be what unlocks so much for you. And also it's going to be the conduit for a lot of changes in your life. I don't because we're not getting too much. I mean, I mean, I mean, I was going to say you don't have too much closure here, but I mean, you literally have the death card coming in here. Right, Virgo. But like, I don't get too much. I really feel like there's going to be certain connections that is just like they need to have like this aware this wake up call um, where it's just like, oh, I could lose Virgo if I don't act right here. Right. It's almost a sense of where people are finally starting to take you seriously, Virgo, when you finally walk away from it because you're just like, you, this is too much baggage here, <laughs> too much baggage. Right. And that's what I initially see with that here, Virgo, is that sense of where you are going to be the conduit for change by finally just saying she's like i am enough i am deserving i am worthy all right <laughs> yes come on here virgo more wands energy all this fieriness here right that aries leo sagittarian energy with that fire right you guys have the eight nine as well as the six of wands coming in here for you all right six of wands my favorite card in the minor arcana you know this is a card of success eight of wands fast forward movement here all right and then that nine of wands this is quite literally the sense here virgo where it's just like by you choosing to walk away and even threaten because I see, see for some of you Virgos, it's like you put in your two week notice uh, for something because uh, for your place, because you're just like, I need to be paid more like I deserve more. And then that's when the actual raise is going to happen. That's when people actually take you seriously, because it's like then they like, they don't want to lose you here. Like I don't like people see the value in you, but it's like they just have wanted to take advantage of you up until this point, consciously or subconsciously. Right. Because. Let's not just assume the worst in people here. Could be the case, but I just don't feel comfortable just um, automatically assuming the worst. It feels really dehumanizing here. But that's what I see happening here for you, Virgo. All right. Don't be afraid of saying and saying that you deserve more and demanding for more. That doesn't make you a diva. That doesn't make you too much. It just makes you human and just being like, hey, like I do all this effort. I do all these people's jobs. I should be compensated properly for it. I do so much when it comes to this relationship here. Meet me halfway. You're tired. You're Depressed, so am I, right? But I can still make the time to communicate with you, right? Whatever the dynamic is when it comes to those people. But um, that's what I got for you today, Virgo. All right. So if you enjoyed this reading today, check out your Sun Moon Rising as well as your Venus sign. All right. Give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll connect with you later on, Virgo. Bye, darling.